Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading uh, six months from now. So, and this is just kind of like for fun because free will plays a part and in the next six months a lot of things will change. So, you know, this is what I'm picking up for you six months from now. But keep in mind, you know, your free will always plays a part. We're going to get a couple of these. What do we have for Virgo six months from now? Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What do we got for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo? That's too many. We don't want to take that many. A couple cards, please. These cards are really hard to shuffle, but I don't like the bag thing. I just don't like it. So what, okay, we got one that flipped, so, ooh, four leaf clover, yay, that's a good one, I'll take it, four leaf clover, great, good fortune, so this is good luck, a four leaf clover is good luck, I mean it really is, let's hope this one matches, needle and thread, a sincere wish will be granted, Oh boy, so six something is going to happen. Something good. Really, really, really good. Oh, let's hope this one is good. Crib. Whew. Birth or conception of a child or enterprise. So something new. Some of you obviously are going to have a birth, but this doesn't have to be an actual birth, okay? It could be an enterprise. Something new something new this is the birth of something new and it is looks like it is really 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 good so something really good this is this is something you wished for this is a wish coming true of some sort six months from now so interesting looks good doesn't it <laughs> it does what do we have for virgo a sincere wish will be granted make your wish right now in six months, it will manifest. Literally, take a second, hit pause, and make a wish. Okay, so let's start right here. Queen of Cups. This is emotional. This is a uh, feeling knowing very intuitive calling in a soulmate perhaps that's your wish love queen of queen of love right here maybe that's your wish your wish is for your soulmate and that looks like this person is is definitely manifesting calling in you know talking talking to the universe this is a psychic of some sort by the looks of things Queen of Swords reversed. Three of Swords reversed. Now this is leaving the past hurts behind. This is healing after a separation. Now healing from bitterness because this is bitterness and resent, but this is healing. Opening of heart. This is heart opening. Okay, following your heart, feeling emotionally available, but this is bitterness. But this is, this is the past, okay? This is the past. So we have an intuitive here that has been through a, a troubled past that has really hurt them. But this is definitely healing. Both of these cards are both healing. Healing from a bad situation, right? So somebody is healing from a bad situation. Um... It's releasing pain. Two of Swords. Looks like... Uh, huh. There's a struggle of some sort here. Choosing not to see something. Somebody has been choosing not to see. Protecting themselves. I'll just pretend. I'll just keep going and uh, see what happens, but not really see. So we, somebody's not seeing something because they're choosing not to. Uh, denial. Denying. Don't want to see it. Don't want to believe it. Something like that. Hmm. Knight of Wands reversed. Page of Cups. Three of Cups.
Nine of Wands. Definitely been wounded. You see it's mirroring the Queen of Swords reversed. And we have somebody that has been wounded. Seven of Cups. Unsure. Hmm. What, what, what should I do? So yeah, you're probably going to be unsure of a situation. One more card. The Hierophant reversed. You could be fearful of commitment. Not really sure if you want to get into a commitment or if you want to get a divorce for some of you. Because um, this is either a commitment or a divorce. Legal issues perhaps upcoming. Unsure. Unclear. Which, what should I choose? You're going to be making a choice six months from now. You're going to have a choice. If you are the masculine watching this, you probably have a choice between two queens. One of them is bitter. One of them is cold and the other is very loving okay so you probably have a choice between two you're you know you're gonna have to use your intuition here uh follow your gut we do have somebody that has been wounded right here this person um was treated unfairly may have been abused mentally abused verbally abused maybe ghosted used or something like could have been used and that's why they are not, you know, they have a hard time opening up. Um, so we definitely have somebody here that is, is going to be making a choice. They're a little confused about that choice. There's definitely a choice between more than one. There's definitely, there's double loyalty here. Then we have the Three of Cups. There's, there's a choice between two. Whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, somebody has a choice between two. I feel as though there's an opportunity to leave the past hurts behind and heal, okay? And maybe you can help somebody to heal or somebody can help you to heal. Um, it, it's a challenge. A cha it, there's a challenge to accept an offer of love, okay? So, because this is the challenge and this is the offer of love. They're definitely somebody is they may be dreaming about you or they may be having, starting to have feelings for you or they have a crush on you or something like that. Um, this is a welcome news, the Page of Cups, and that could certainly be a birth, okay? So somebody could be giving birth or getting pregnant or something like that. Something to do with a child. Um, the Knight of Wands reversed over here. This is being a sudden departure, which has made somebody bitter or somebody has left somebody hanging. But this happened for a reason because, you know, it gave somebody... Somebody had to follow their intuition, right? Because this is a very intuitive card. But this is a, this is somebody that um, is constantly on the move, doesn't stick around, um, very, very uh, fly by the seat of their pants, um, doesn't really like responsibility. So it looks like in the past, but this is kind of like in the past, okay? So I feel like we have somebody here that has uh, neglected their responsibilities, which causes caused some sort of bitterness. But in the future, it feels like we have somebody here that is getting ready to take that. It looks like this person's getting ready to take that blindfold off, getting ready to accept and forgive the past. It's like, I do. I feel like we have somebody that's ready to socialize. They're ready to get out there. They're ready to start dating. And they may meet somebody. You may meet somebody on social media or out with your friends or something like that. Um, it's like you meet somebody out with socializing, whether it's whether it's on a dating site or whatnot. This is socializing. Could be could be through your friends too, a friend of a friend of a friend. It's like you meet somebody and this person you know, there's some sort of feeling there. There's some sort of, uh, hmm, you know, it's, it's like, hmm, should I, you know, should I give this person a chance? There's some sort of, uh, it looks as like I'm kind of interested here, you know, that kind of thing. I'm, I'm interested. I guess I am. I guess I am interested in this person. So that kind of thing. So I think there's, there's going to be a choice that is made, a decision as to whether you want to give somebody a chance or not. Um, I think that you're going to you're going to be accepting something in the past, accepting, you know, a painful ending. It's like cuz this is taking that blindfold off and accepting, accepting that it's time to get out there and have some fun. It's time to get out and play. It's time to let go of this past hurts. It's time to start expressing yourself and opening up your heart. You see what's mirroring each other. This is opening up your heart. You always got to look at what's mirroring each other. So I feel like we have somebody here that is is going is ready to open their heart. 
So in six months from now, I think that we have somebody here that uh, has been sitting on the fence, right? They've been sitting on the fence. They, they've been very fearful. They've been staying, keeping themselves safe, protecting themselves from, you know, the outside world kind of like, you know, I'm just going to keep doing my thing and I'm going to pretend I don't see anybody or whatever. And I'm just going to, you know, block. It's like block. I'm going to block the world out mentally you know but now it's like ah, I think I'm ready to see things I'm ready to see people I'm ready to see I'm ready to open my eyes I'm ready that's what I feel like this is so I feel like uh, there's gonna be an offer somebody's gonna flirt or there's gonna be an admirer okay there's some sort of right in the middle here okay right now or in six months from now there's there's somebody that is going to um, you know, send a loving message, they're going to start flirting, or they're going to admire you for some reason, and it's like they're going to feel like, it's like they feel butterflies, or they feel some sort of connection, okay, and I think that this person um, may be lonely, and they, you know, are going to take, it. it's like, you know what, I think I'm going to, I'm going to, it's like come to the rescue, I'm going to, I'm going to try to get this person to open up, so I feel like there's going to be somebody that enters that tries to get you to open up and I think that there's been some abuse obviously there has been I mean with Hierophant Reverse that is abuse okay it's abuse of a father figure um, a father figure that was very controlling in some way um, there's also a relationship here that is that is no longer on the same page um, because that is what this is. It's like there's, 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 it's not, there's a relationship that is not on the same page, but that is getting a divorce or, or going through the d divorce or dealing with the legal issues. Um, there's also, there's also a feeling of somebody, uh, breaking the rules. Okay. We could have somebody here that does something in an unconventional manner and that they take a non-traditional approach to, uh, get, your attention or something like that um and you the, it, you know it feels like something about with going down the stairs and i don't think i've ever seen that with this card but it's like walking down the stairs somebody could be walking towards you they're walking down the stairs i don't know what that means maybe there's a staircase that is nearby i usually don't i don't think i've ever seen that with this card i mean it's obviously it's here but in this case it really it really uh jumped out at me um, so Virgo, I think in six months from now, you're going to be out socializing. You're probably going to be, uh, having some fun and, and opening your eyes to new things, letting go of the past hurts, making a choice, making a decision, choosing wisely. Somebody may be choosing you. Um, it's opening, there's, there's some sort of opening. Now, see the pig flying, whenever I see this card with, when pigs fly, it's like you probably thought that you were never going to be loved again. You never were going to get over this pain. You were never going to get through this. You know, you were never going to, uh, whatever this is, it's like you, I think you thought that this was never going to happen. But now, it's like accepting the challenge, finding the strength, um, to open up so now I think that you're you're letting go of some of your protective barrier okay you've had some sort of protective barrier and I think you're starting to let that shield down okay um, opening your heart I think that you're opening your heart I think that you're also you're you you've done a lot of healing somebody has done a lot of healing and they've called in something that's what I see it's like somebody has called in something good and it does have to do with love with the Page of Cups. It's like you've been dreaming. This is a dreamer, okay? Now, and this is also love struck. So it's like somebody is, is going to feel love struck. And they get, it's like, and, and I really feel like it happens out of the blue. It's sudden. It's suddenly. It's, and this could be like some sort of. You wished, it's obviously what you wished for, okay? A sincere wish for, will be granted. You wished for this. This is what you wished for. Here it is. I feel like this person is, uh, I don't think there's a big age gap. I think that they're similar in age. I don't feel like there's any big, huge, I don't, I feel like, there, I don't think there's any big, huge age gap. I think there's, there's a lot of similarities here. Um,
but there could be some spiritual differences. You know, there's some sort of, you know, one person may be spiritual and the other may not be. Okay, so that's definitely a difference. It's, so that could be some, um, you know, spiritual factors, but that's not a big deal. I don't see that being a big deal. I feel like there's fear of commitment. There is definitely fear of commitment. Um, but there's some sort of connection that is felt, and I think the connection is felt instantly. I do. And now we have somebody that is like, is this the right choice? Is this the right choice? Hmm. Hmm. Should I? Should I do this? I'm really afraid. I really don't. I really don't want to get myself committed to something and my heart broken again. You know, so I feel like we have somebody here is going to make be making a difficult choice. Um, and taking a playful approach. I do think it is a playful approach. I feel like six months from now, you will be opening your eyes to something that uh, you refuse to even consider before. It's like now you're ready to consider it. Um, there's definitely a choice. And somebody could be choosing, uh, I mean, it could be a third party situation. Somebody could be choosing you. Okay. Somebody is, is making it, or you could be choosing something. I feel like, uh, there's a painful situation of loneliness because the queen of swords in reverse is lonely and it's over the, that lonely, the, the loneliness is over here. This is love, okay? The Queen of Cups is love. But in the past, somebody was with somebody that was loud, somebody that was boastful, somebody that had a really big ego, okay? Which caused them to, you know, act like a bitch. But I think that that bitchiness... You know, that situation, whatever it was, it made a person stronger. It did, because this is the ultimate strength. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So somebody has gained a lot of strength over time. And now there's somebody that is interested. There's no joke. There is somebody that is interested here. And this person is going to help you, you know, sew up those last little pieces. Sew up. Isn't that funny? I was talking at this, and then I saw the needle and thread. This person is going to help you sew up those last little pieces. So be prepared for that. And six months from now... um, there's a love connection here that is going to grow by the looks of things. And I think you're going to be ready for it. And some of you may even get pregnant if that's what you're looking for because of that birth. Or this is just, and this is, could be a birth too of a child. But, or, you know, a pregnancy or whatever. But anyhow, um, there's a new beginning here. And it is a beautiful one. It really is. So that's what I got. Good luck.